Mahini Badwidge is a retired American gymnast who competed at the 1997 and 2001 World Championships and earned a team silver medal at the 2004 Summer Olympics in Athens. She is the first Indian-American gymnast and the second Indian-American athlete overall ever to medal at the Olympics. Early life and career Mahini Badwich was born on September 29, 1978, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to parents Indu and Kaushal. She has one younger brother, Arun. Badwaj's mother, Indu, is a Russian from New York who converted to Hinduism and who teaches yoga. Her father is from India and is a physician in Cincinnati. Badwaj was raised in the Hindu faith and is vegetarian. Her given name of Mahini means the one who mesmerizes in Hindi. During her gymnastics career, this fact was repeated by commentators in almost every televised competition in which she competed, and eventually became a running joke among gymnastics fans. Bardwidge began taking gymnastics classes at the age of four in her hometown of Cincinnati, where she attended Seven Hills School. She excelled in the sport, and, at the age of 13, moved to Orlando to train at Brown's Gymnastics. At the age of 16, Bardwidge's coach, Alexander Alexandrov, moved to Houston to open a new facility for Brown's. Bardwidge followed, without her parents. Living alone in a Texas apartment, she began to struggle, and her gymnastics suffered from long nights of partying, smoking and drinking. At the 1996 U.S. Olympic trials, she finished in 10th place, missing a spot on the team by 075. Bardwidge continued training after the Olympics, but at the 1997 U.S. Nationals, NBC commentators noted that she was only competing due to her parents' insistence. In spite of her seeming indifferent, Bardwidge had a strong showing at Nationals, finishing third in the all-around and easily earning a spot on the American World Championships team. At the 1997 World Championships, Bardwidge was the only American besides Kristen Maloney to qualify for an individual event final, the vault where she placed fifth. NCAA career, Bardwaj's reputation as a wild child scared off some NCAA recruiters, but Val Condos, head coach for UCLA, awarded her a full gymnastics scholarship. Her partying continued through her freshman year, prompting Condos to issue her an ultimatum to remain on the team. Condos' her faith paid off. By 1999, Bardwich had changed her ways and became a key member of the Bruins. Her gymnastics flourished in the college environment, her difficulty on all events increased, and she developed a new artistic style on floor exercise. During her time at UCLA, Bardwich earned All-American honors 11 times, earned 23 individual titles and was the first gymnast from UCLA to be a four-time All-American on the uneven bars. As a senior, she won both the AAI American Award and the prestigious Honda Award. She was inducted into the UCLA Athletics Hall of Fame in 2013. 2001 to 2004. After ending her UCLA career with a new perspective and work ethic, Bardwood returned to elite competition. At the 2001 U.S. National Championships, she won the vol title and placed third in the all-around. She was named to the American team for the 2001 World Championships in Ghent, Belgium, where she contributed to the U.S. squad's bronze medal, placed 18th in the all-around and 7th in the vault event final. In 2002, however, Bardwidge suffered a dislocated elbow, an injury so serious that she retired for a year before deciding to return to training in 2003. Off the national team and running low on funds, Bardwidge found herself taking odd jobs, such as waitressing and delivering pizzas, to pay for her gymnastics training and personal expenses. By 2004 she was in debt and could not afford to attend the U.S. Olympic trials and other competitions. 
Baywatch star Pamela Anderson learned of Badwaje's challenges when she purchased a raffle ticket on her behalf, became a personal supporter, and gave the gymnast a generous $20,000 grant to support her training expenses. At the 2004 Nationals, Badwaje placed a disappointing 12th in the all-around just snagging the final spot in the Olympic trials when Ashley Postel fell on bars, effectively handing her spot to Mahini. But Bardwich went on to make the most of her chance, earning sixth place at the trials and earning an invitation to the subsequent closed-jaw selection camp at the Carolee Ranch. There she impressed national team coordinator Martha Carolee and the other selectors enough to not only earn a place on the team, but to be named its captain. Her strength and consistency on vault were expected to add balance to a team already formidable on beam and bars. But at the Athens Games she placed 20th on vault and failed to qualify for the event final. She was the only American to qualify for the floor final, where she finished in 6th place. Had Bardwidge competed with a routine with a start value of 10 instead of the 9.7 she received, she would have won a medal. She finished 8th in qualifying for the all-around competition behind teammates Carly Patterson and Courtney Coupets, and would easily have been among the 24 to make the final. However, since each team could send just two gymnasts, she became the only competitor finishing in the top 10 to not make the all-around finals. Her performance in the Olympic team finals was integral to the team's silver medal effort. In addition to improving her vault from preliminaries and putting in a strong floor exercise, when Courtney Coupets decided to sit out balance beam due to a sore leg, Mahini was asked to fill in last minute. Team member Courtney McCool actually had much more scoring potential. But it had been decided before the competition that McCall's performances were not needed so she was not prepared to go up on the beam. Bardwich got through a clean, well-executed routine that helped the team maintain its standing. For her Olympic achievements, Bardwich was named the India Abroad Person of the Year for 2004. After the Olympics, Bardwich joined the other members of the Olympic team on a national exhibition tour. She attempted to continue competing into 2005, and was originally selected for the American Cup in January 2005 but had insufficient training time to be ready and withdrew. She eventually retired from competitive gymnastics later in 2005, at the age of 26. Eponymous skills uneven bars. Full twisting pack salto, first performed at the 2004 Athens Olympic Games post-retirement. Bardwidge currently is owner and coach at Oregon Olympic Athletics in Bend, Oregon. She is married to Jeff Bari, a United States Marine, and had a son in 2009. Major competition results. 2004 Olympic Games. Second team. 6th FX 2004 U.S. Olympic Trials. 6th AA 2004 U.S. Championships. 12th AA, 2nd VT 2001 World Championships, 3rd Team, 18th AA, 7th VT 2001 Pan American Championships, 1st Team, 2nd AA, 5th VT 2001 US Championships, 3rd AA, 1st VT, 2nd UB, 6th VT, 7th FX 2001 NCAA Championships. First Team, First FX 2000 NCAA Championships. First Team, Second AA, First UB, Second BB, Fifth VT 1999 NCAA Championships. Eleventh AA, Sixth UB 1999 World University Games. AA 1998 NCAA Championships. 4th UB, 7th VT 1997 World Championships, 6th Team, 5th VT 1997 US Championships, 3rd AA, 3rd VT, 5th FX 1997 American Cup, 10th AA 1996 US Olympic Trials, 10th AA 1996 US Championships. 12th AA, 2nd BB, 4th VT, 4th UB, 5th FX 1996 Pacific Alliance Championships, 
First team, first AA, first VT, second BB, third FX 1996 Moscow World Stars. 4th AA, 2nd UB, 3rd BB, 3rd VT 1995 US Championships, 15th AA, 4th UB, 6th BB 1995 Atlanta Invitational, 8th AA, 1st VT 1995 China Cup, 7th AA, 2nd Mixed Pairs, 3rd BB, 5th UB, 7th VT 1995 International Mixed Pairs, 5th 1995 U.S. Olympic Festival, 5th AA, 2nd VT, 2nd UB, 1994 Puerto Rico International Gymnastics Cup, 2nd VT, 3rd BB, 1994 U.S. Championships, 35th AA, 1994 U.S. Olympic Festival, 7th AA, 5th BB, 6th VT, 1993 U.S. Championships.